This might sound like something from a superhero movie, but it's real. Scientists are discovering ways to store huge amounts of information inside diamonds. Yes, the sparkly kind. But how can something used in rings and necklaces work like a computer memory chip? Stick around to find how these shiny gems can help power the future of technology and even quantum computers. One thought at a time. Deep inside a diamond, there's a perfect grid of carbon atoms. But every once in a while, there's a tiny mistake in the pattern, and that's actually a good thing. If one carbon atom is missing and the nitrogen atom takes its place, it creates a special spot, special spot called a nitrogen vacancy or NV center. Think of it as like a tiny parking space where an electron can chill out and more importantly, store information based on how it spins. These spins act like tiny on-off switches, or in tech terms, ones and zeros. Just like computers store data in ones and zeros, NV centers use electron spins to do the same. The electron spin up can be a one, spin down can be a zero. Using lasers or microwave, scientists can change the spin read it, and store data. The best part? These spins can stay the same for a long time, even at room temperature, which is super rare for quantum materials. But, so why do you might carry a USB stick in your backpack? Imagine storing all your files into something the size of a sugar cube and one of the most expensive things in the known world. Diamonds are one of the strongest materials on earth. They don't melt, rust or scratch easily. That means your data could last for hundreds or even thousands of years. You could store huge amounts of information in a tiny space. Imagine an entire library inside a glittery chip. And because envy centers don't need constant power, it could lead to energy efficient memory. This could be a big win for the environment too. This is where it gets even cooler. NV centers are part of a field called quantum memory, which stores information using the rules of quantum physics. Quantum physics is the science of things that are super small, smaller than atoms. In the quantum world, an electron can be in more than one state at once, called superposition. This helps scientists store and process information faster than any regular computer. Diamonds are one of the few materials that can do this at room temperature, which is a big deal for making quantum computers in the future. Will computers made of diamonds be a thing? Not just yet. Natural diamonds are too expensive, and the kind used in labs are grown carefully with special tools. But researchers are already making lab-grown diamonds just for tech, and they're getting better at it. So while your next phone probably won't be sparkly, it might have a memory chip that owes its power to the science of diamonds. Why does this matter? This story isn't just about science, it's about imagination. It shows how something as old as a diamond can be used in new, cutting-edge technology. It reminds us that small things, like invisible particles, can have a huge impact on the future. And it shows how curiosity and exploration can turn the impossible into reality. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye for now.